Mardi Gras season is here and we're getting a look at some of the traditional foods. Chef Matt Winters joins us from the Waterfront Hotel and Convention Center in Oshkosh. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. We're going to be making some jambalaya this morning. Uh, jambalaya is uh, one of those dishes that there's a million right ways to do it and not a lot of wrong ways to do it. So what we're going to do is chicken, sausage, and shrimp on today's. Uh, first thing we're going to start out with is a little bit of oil in our pan. We're going to get our garlic and our onions going. We're going to crank that pan up, get it good and hot. Because we want to caramelize these, get them just a little bit brown. While those are cooking, we're going to take our chicken, we're going to season it up with a little bit of Cajun spice. And this is one where you can adjust it to your preference if you like it spicier. I like it a lot. I like it spicy. And we're going to put a little bit of flour on here as well. And the flour helps to give a little bit of a body to the jambalaya at the end. Now, after the onions and the garlic have caramelized a little bit, we're going to add our chicken and our flour. We're going to stir that in a little bit. Let that keep cooking. After that, we're going to add our sausage and we're going to add our shrimp. Let those cook down as well. Now, the jambalaya really is just, it's a beautiful stew of shrimps and chicken and sausage or whatever other ingredients you happen to have available that you want to put in there. Uh, we're going to add some beautiful peppers, some canned tomatoes, because I actually want the juice from those tomatoes. And we're going to let that all incorporate and cook down as well. Along with that, we're going to add some chicken stock or chicken broth, whichever you prefer. It's about three cups. We're going to keep that heat going so that we bring it up to a nice boil. You get that all mixed together. You can see all those beautiful colors that are great for a Mardi Gras type dish. As that's cooking and once it comes to a boil, we're going to add some rice. About a cup or so. Again, it's to your taste. If you like more rice in your jambalaya, add more rice. If you like it a little more soupy or stewy, add a little bit less. Now that rice is going to swell up as it cooks and it'll actually thicken the jambalaya to get it to the consistency that we want. Uh, we've got some herbs. Uh, this is just some fresh thyme. We're going to add that. And then just a pinch of salt just to give it a little kick. We're going to let that all come together. It doesn't take a long time, uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes on your stove top to get that rice to thicken up. Once it's done, get a nice big old bowl. Ladle it up. And put a little bit of fresh parsley on top. And we got a beautiful dinner. Serve that with some cornbread or some nice baguettes. And you've got a nice Mardi Gras dinner.